state which will live in infamy. In the councils of government, we must car guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. We abide our country and all who serve it, and the glow from that fire can truly light the world. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Read my lips. No, no. I did not have sexual relations with that one. Many. Sunday morning. What difference at this point does it make? Okay. You once Come again on. gave a non-answer. Joe Biden gave a non-answer. <laughs> I'm trying to answer you now. American people deserve it. <laughs> what are we talking about? Come on, man. Yamhill County Board of Commissioners Chair Mary Starrett is on a mission. She wants the county to prohibit anyone from asking customers or employees about their vaccination status as a condition for allowing them inside without a mask. She's fighting the recent mandate set in place by the state. They did that after the CDC recommended fully vaccinated people can now go mask-free in most public places. I mean, there should be no place in a free society for requiring private medical information as a condition of just operating in a free society. Starrett is asking the board to pass an ordinance making Yamhill County a sanctuary from so-called vaccine passports. The board met Thursday to discuss what that might look like and if it's even possible. County Council shared some concerns. If we adopt ordinances that, that are in conflict with state law, we run the risk of, in the event of a claim, not having insurance coverage. Starrett suggested that that is not the biggest issue at stake. Yeah, it's going to be, you know, it's a risk, but somebody's got to say at some point, enough is enough. I would rather go to the mat any day for standing up for those basic freedoms that we're now seeing destroyed at every turn. Many business owners are frustrated by the state placing the burden of checking for vaccine proof on them. Some have fielded threats from customers. Others, just a lot of frustration. We're not the vaccine police. Um, we trust our customers. And Haley Rogers owns Real Deals on Home Decor in McMinnville. She asks that people who haven't been vaccinated wear masks inside. Those who have been don't have to. Those policies are posted around the store and on social media. But as people walk in the door, we are not going to be checking for vaccination cards and checking it against their IDs. You know, we again, we're trusting that people are making the right choice for themselves and for others. Rogers says she's neutral on an ordinance that would ban people from asking about vaccine status. But what she would appreciate about it is a defined directive. With everything being so undefined, it makes our job much harder as a business owner in a pandemic that's already so hard. And this is really concerning to me. For at so. least the next week, the board will look at possible legal sticking points and what they might have to change in the draft before voting. But what I'd like to make sure happens at least is that county employees know they can come to work without being asked your papers, please. Something out of the Third Reich. Catherine Cook, KGW News.